guys, it's Kugler again with another ROM review and this time I've got Leva OS for Galaxy S3. Now, uh, Leva OS would be bringing up a lot of memories for me personally because it was uh, one of my favorite ROMs for Galaxy Ace which was my previous phone. And yeah, it now is supported officially for the Galaxy S3. Now about the zip file, I was not able to install it in the past but um, I think it requires Team Win Recovery Project to install it. Uh, something about partition stuff, something. So I'm not sure how to work uh, around it but hey, it's installed with TWRP Project ROM uh, recovery so it's working. Now let's get into the ROM now. First of all, what you will see here is the lock screen which well is themable it's not the only lock screen but you can see it's a beautiful lock screen it's a pretty cool one so no points there so no points deducted there so you can see the launcher is a specific miui style launcher which has a lot of functions to it so it d does work out uh, it doesn't have an app drawer the apps just show up here it's kind of an iphone well iphone ish style launcher so you do have that now let's get into the settings menu right now you can see the um recent menu uh, recent well it's the notification drawer you, it is kind of a different one it's a proprietary one for leva you have notification and switches uh you can customize the switches available and stuff like that uh you have a data plan here so you can um select set a data plan it uses a specific app to set the data plan you do you do have a few settings you can set up data plan you can set up monthly usage you also have kind of a firewall if you don't want certain apps to connect to the internet so you do have that also now uh, let's get into settings again uh, first of all what you will see here is that there are two menus first of all is the common menu which is this one and you also have a all setting which is different so uh, common menu is actually customizable it, it takes elements from all settings and it um, adjusts as you want from this one you can customize that you can enable that by dragging these upside uh, there are only a set number of things which can be in the custom menu so you have to choose from that so yeah let's go to the all settings now in the all setting you can see the basic functions you do have basic functions like wlan bluetooth uh, more options include the network etc sounds the, they are similar to another okay one more thing this is based on 4.2.2 rom uh, so it's not the latest one but it has recently been changed from 4.1.2 which well it's well it's ancient history actually so yeah you can see it is 4.2.1 I guess this one is actually based on uh, the um, the AOSP 4.2.2 uh, which was I guess Faria by Faria so you can see the kernel actually mentions his name so it's a CM kernel so it's based on CM so you do have that so that's pretty cool uh, you can see 4.2.2 level 14.124 so it's a well it might be a bit old version by the time the video comes out so yeah now this is basically a Chinese ROM so you will see a lot of Chinese stuff also with this but um, some one change I've noticed is that the translation is pretty much accurate uh, with other Chinese ROMs like the previous ones I reviewed the Color OS and Baidu OS the translation is not off and there aren't a awful lot of Chinese apps included so that's a good thing for people who are outside of China and don't speak Chinese that much so yeah. Now in the display options you do have a few options extra you can see electric quantity dis uh, display you can have it graphical or percentage that is the battery indicator you can see the battery life is now at uh, 60 percentage it is kind of a battery monger but still it's uh, doable with battery saver it does have a battery saver preset now it does have a night mode which consider considerably lowers the brightness and it actually is an overlay it's kind of an overlay you can actually have a red overlay or you can have yellow uh, considering on what you like so well black one just considerably uh, reduces the brightness so you do have that breathing light that is an, a notification light you can have it pulsating or just blinking so you do have a customization array of that so that's pretty cool prevent miss operation now uh, miss operation this one I really like the option uh, if you enable this and if you um, well lock the phone if if it's in your pocket the proximity sensor will be covered right and if you try to if something happens and the home button just keeps pressed 
it will give you it, it will not allow you to just go in there but if you are in a situation where this is covered you can go for this one force quit uh, plus power plus volume key and it will force quit this well, force quit the prevent operation mode so that you can unlock the phone so that is really cool feature um, you can have uh, well, rounded corners you you are able to you must be able to see the rounded corners right now right so that is there so that's pretty neat feature um yeah that is it from these settings let's go to the other one status bar setting this is what i uh, well told you about you have customized status bar position you have a lot of these applications you can have settings you can actually change what all appears here so in the switches page so you do have that uh, you can click more to go to this setting and enable this so you the, there are a few well it only accepts this much so you have to keep in mind what all you want it even has a qr code uh, scanner in the status bar so if you are someone uses uh, qr code a lot you can have that it's pretty cool uh, so yeah let's see notification filter settings so you can actually uh, block certain notification from the notification bar so that is really a great feature to have you can read that intelligent uh, advertising push so it, it does uh, block the advertisement from coming up in the notification drawer so that's a really cool feature you can sh show the network speed in the notification bar so yeah that's cool too it does have the option to disable keyboard light but it was not working I'm not sure why it's not working but it's not working so that's it so yeah let's go to the battery option now here is the option for battery you can see the battery discharge is this much in one hour it discharge quite a lot much so yeah it's not a really awesome ROM for battery keeping so yeah that's something which you have to deal with but uh, considering the fact that Chinese ROMs are awfully bad at keeping battery this one did perform better than the other Chinese ROMs so that's something to consider app settings you have a lot of options there now in the running apps you can see the um, RAM usage is this much and free RAM is this much and you can clear the RAM from this uh, from the recent menu which is quite unique I'll show you guys that in a minute you do have advanced settings where you can actually uh, change a lot of these settings you can see uh, radio option screen option you can have uh, MDNI mode haptic feedback intensity you can all consider that you can actually configure that so that's pretty cool you do have location access which is uh, kind of an old one so yeah in the security setting you you have a few options you can you do only have all the non uh, all the normal style of security options no fancy uh, voice unlock feature or anything like that but hey that's doable so yeah I guess that much is it in the settings menu now uh, the apps it does have a lot of apps now I'm I'm, I'm going to show you guys the uh, recent menu which is this one it's it gives you a lot of information just rather than the recently uh, accessed apps now you can see the recently accessed app apps are here and if you want to lock certain apps uh, when you are clearing something you can just give it a pull to the right side and it will be locked and if you do this that app will not be cleared so that's something which is really cool if you want to do that you can just swipe it away to the left side it does also have a torch uh, at the recent menu so that you can have that it does have uh, it gives you an option uh, well it gives you an information on the battery time remaining it now shows 16 hours it's never 16 hours you can actually click this to have a battery saving preset so that is pretty cool now it's actually saving the battery now it's showing 24 hours it's never 24 hours so that's something which i wanted to talk about it does have a security app which is pretty cool which is this one it's an antivirus app with a lot of options you do have anti-theft um, system cleaner interceptor wires defense interceptor is call blocking call and message blocking uh, you do have permission management also built into the rom so that is really cool uh what else do we have now Theming is a real main feature of the ROM. So just like any other Chinese ROM, you have a lot of themes. Also, I have actually downloaded a few one. You can go to the online and uh, go through the themes. It has been a long time since this uh, ROM has been out. So there are a lot of themes also. Let's just try this one now. Um, this is like the MIUI V5. So you do have that option. 
it only it doesn't change everything it's just a um what should i say it's just a icon change and uh maybe uh, the boot animation also is changed a bit you can actually customize what all will change you can change the font you can actually download just the fonts by going here and you can make your own rom uh, make your own theme from the ones available by mixing and matching all of them lock screens you uh, i have said that there are few lock screens also right so you can actually go for uh, other lock screens and there are few there are a lot of awesome lock screens there like this one it is kind of an animated lock screen i will show you guys the uh, lock screen now so this is the lock screen so it is animated right and you can just click here and it will it will go through some things uh, you might have heard the sound also and you can unlock this so it does have a lot of functions in that regard and don't worry if you are uh, afraid that this might go for well it might drain your battery yes it will drain your battery for having a animated lock screen but you can choose something which is less apparent or less something like well, you can choose normal lock screens also now these are the apps with which it comes uh, you can see the I have already shown you guys the security center it does have a proprietary calendar app uh, the camera is normal 4.2.2 camera so it doesn't have much options it's just what you can expect from a lot of them so you have all of these also the phone app is actually uh, a mixed one you can have the phone and contacts and messages in the same one so that's a conglomerated one so you do have that you have to uh, get used to that also there are a few options you can see compass is a really smooth compass app which i really appreciate i really like it so that's something uh, uh really cool you do have flashlight app you have a leva music player so now music player i really couldn't uh play any music with uh well i i really don't know how this functions but this seems like a really cool one so i'm not sure about that it does have an updater it is updated weekly so you can uh, just click this and update it from here if you have a new uh, version available it will show up here so that is really cool you do have a custom sound recorder which is themed of course so you do have that file manager is also themed so that is pretty cool let me show you guys the boot animation which is awesome so here is the boot animation for lever rom it has come a long way from the time i knew it in the galaxy ace and yeah uh, the ace version is actually an old one it's um it's based on gingerbread so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye